Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Pirate 101. Just chilling in the old bunkhouse. Gonna continue the story. Bring Sally back home. I didn't get any drops besides a, um... Well, I don't know if I got the Fool's Mask drop on recording. I think I did, if I remember correctly. But yeah, I, I did get a second one, which I'll just use to, to carry around. You know, it's kind of funny. Um, anyways. I'll get going to Fool Ranch. I still have a marker in, um... Valencia. In case I want to farm that or farm there again, but I'll probably end up marking in Cool Ranch. You did visit the world because you had to go there for um, the two promotion quests I did in the in the last episode. But I haven't taken uh, Mustang Sally to Santo Pollo. I think I'll just sail there normally instead of uh, docking at Cooper's Roost and then taking the stagecoach. Take the scenic route. Duck. Um, I have no idea if you can actually farm that battle over there. I don't know if I don't know if English Bill actually reappears there. I think I might actually check. That would be cool if you could farm his drops here. to turn the dialogue back on. Quench the fires quick. Of 
Bonnie over there. She can use her That's your grit. Uh. Oh. Second chance. I guess I'll just put this trap here. I mean, or either that. Bombs. Oh shit. Yeah, I forgot. She still doesn't get five range. I should do this instead. Can this version of him drop something? I'm, I'm looking up his uh, creature page on the wiki. God, second chance is so annoying. on the wiki that he can drop, actually. So it might actually be better to farm this if you can get the fires, but I don't know. It depends, actually, because the first the first fight in in, boot, in the Boot Hill dungeon isn't too hard. You can probably do it first round if you're a high enough level. I'm gonna hide and then heal. Apparently he can drop his stuff, but it's not conf well... On the wiki, there's the wiki master verified drop, which means that some... the people who, like, contribute to the articles or whatever they have actually um, gotten the drop. Let's see. He's gone now. Do 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 do. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I'd like really expect to get anything because I mean, it's Pirate 101 drop rates are. I wonder if I should help this person. It looks like they've beat him. Fortress on. I'm invisible.
Okay. second chance so much. It's such a time waster, too. It takes so much time, and their animations are fucking annoying. It's like, they're so long, just fucking get it over with. I mean, depending on how you do it, you could probably do the uh, first fight of Boot Hill faster. I did get something, let's see. Eh. I'll look into it later. Gotta, gotta continue the story. I already have an amazing title for this episode. Oh, I won't spoil it. I think I think I already said it in the live stream though, or in the um, recent meme. This stream for farming fool. He's in the Temple of Tolik. Maybe he has to go there for like a... ...promotion or something? But... Yeah, I can't imagine any player doing that besides like players like me who want to get badges in completion. Because it's like... It probably is one of the more annoying quests. Having to walk through that dungeon. It, de it definitely feels like a Wizard 101 type dungeon. I'll refuel. Actually, yes. I'm going to use this horse. Before I forget... Welcome back to Santa Pollo, my friend. To what do I owe this unexpected? Carolina, is that you? How can this be? Rodrigo, <laughs> you have not changed at all. I have become a pirate, like our friend here. Mm hmm. I tried so hard to find you. Why have you come back now? Listen to me, my love. All our prayers are answered. A friend here has secured my father's blessing from beyond the grave. Yay! This is amazing. So you still wish to be married, my love? Of course. My dear friend, I do not know what to say. Give me a moment with my bride to be. Go tell Friar Cluck that soon he shall marry us. Yay! Peace be with you, Capitan. Don Rodrigo is to be married? Oh, this is wonderful! 
All of Santa Pollo will rejoice at this news. I must say, I have been expecting you. There is someone who wants very much to talk to you, my friend. You will find him inside. Okay. Looks like they remodeled the church. Looks good. El Toro. Uh, you have brought me peace, pirate. And I thank you. Now I can help you in your search. All right. Great. I fought many battles against Captain Blood and finally defeated him. But I never found his lair. This map you seek, I have never seen it. You're like the third person to say that? I don't even know at this point. But, yeah. I should have known. In my final battle with the Dread Pirate, Blood's own crew betrayed him. They sailed with Blood for years. They must know where his lair lies. Right. Sly Winkum was one of the mutineers. He has left his wicked days behind him and lives in Tumbleweed. Tell him El Toro sent you, and he will help. Good. Another lead. Documents. Hold on. Very good. Rest well, Don Rafael. It's a nice church. I hope these aren't the offerings. <laughs> Sly Winkum and Tumbleweed. Stagecoach to Bison Village. Mm. I'm glad for uh, El Toro. Tumbleweed. 
I guess I've already bought the chapter because I had to buy it earlier for, um... I think I had to visit some area of Arroyo Grande, I think. Farmhouse. Huh, there's a passage to Arroyo Grande here. It's interesting. That's tumbleweed. Cloud Hunter. Okay. Ooh, ship vendor. Galleon, level thirty. Better stats. Yeah, I'll take this one. Kind of like that coloring already, actually. Let's see. If I called my last one Little Bird, it'd be funny if I called this one Big Bird. I don't know if you can do that, though. I don't know how I feel about that. Probably just use the same equipment that I have on my uh, old bison ship. I do kind of like that. It's either going to be black, white, or white, black. I think I like it white, black. Yeah, I'll go with that. Angry. Sky. Kind of like that. Ooh. 
Thunderbird. Mountain. Mm. Great oak. That's cool. Rainbow. Red River. That's, that's nice. Black Star. Yeah, I like that one. Either that or Great Oak. I think I'm going to go Great Oak. Or Mountain. Great oak. Armor. Cannons. Look at that. I'll have to test her out later. I think I can sell my old one. Won't you fly? <laughs> Won't you fly? Free bird. No. Fly, little bird. I want to get a good thumbnail. Free trader. Tumbleweed. <laughs> that ramp. Look at that. Is it actually that steep? That's like impossible to climb.
I think it does take the screenshot a little late. Okay, that's pretty good. It's probably as good as I can get. <laughs> or maybe in here? That'd be pretty funny. I did just see a tumbleweed there, so this place is aptly named. Some new side quests here as well. this now. Alright, so... Wanted El Toro? What's El Toro wanted for? Being awesome? Conundrum machine. What? Okay, that's cool. Um... Pile of gems and gold, yeah. <laughs> Weight scale. That's a pretty cool wallpaper. Desert Rose. Hey, it's you. Well, look who's here. Nice to see you again, pirate. I hear you've made quite a name for yourself. I wonder if you could help me and Woodrow again. What do you need? We got a herd of buffalo and we drove up from Ogallala. Woodrow wants to drive them back to Cooper's Roost, but we're not as young as we used to be. Hmm. Are you finally going to go back to that, um, what was her name? Lorraine? But now that I see you, it seems to me we don't need a cattle drive at all. You could just take him on your ship. Good idea. I bet you could handle this all by yourself. Head over to the stockyard and help Woodrow out. I'll be along eventually. Okay.
Sly Winkum, he's in the back room through there. Oh, of course he is. <laughs> Old man Bronco's got a message for you, Weasel. You dirt farmers better learn your place and do as you're told, or else. Huh? Listen, we don't want any trouble. I don't know how affairs have reached such a bad state. Bad? You ain't seen bad, but it's coming. Hey, now who's this? Oh, I see. You thought you could ambush the Waco kid? Oh, no, I'm not part of this. Time to pay the piper. Boys, show them what happens when you mess with the wild bunch. I was just leaving. Of course. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Unique combat music. Let's see. They're all agility based. Um, I don't know if he's four range or not, but I'll just put. Oh yeah, do that. Just put this trap there. I'm just guessing he'll go through that trap. Of course, he goes around that way. It was worth a shot. There, pirate, your crew's wearing thin. You can't feel the full squad till you freeze them up. Ah, get fucked. <laughs> Super hit. At least he doesn't have Blade Storm. Get him. Oh, Bonnie.
Howdy. El Toro sent you. <laughs> sure, I'll talk to you. Just keep your voice down. El Toro sent you, you say? Ah, must be here to talk to me about Captain Blood. That was a long time ago, stranger. I'm a businessman now. What now? Stormbringer, what's that about? I know where Blood's hideout was, but telling you it's in Haunted Skyway isn't going to help. The way's blocked, thanks to the Wild Bunch. Of course it is. A viler band of outlaws and villains you will never find. The Bronco Clan leads them, and they aim to drive all us settlers out. There's no stopping them. Why don't the rangers get him? I know who could stop him. The Seven could do it, sure as you're born. The Seven. Any luck with the Wild Bunch yet? I didn't think so. You might want to talk to Duck Holiday, or maybe Buffalo Bill. Woodrow's waiting for your help. Hurry up before the herd of buffaloons tramples him to pieces. Well, I do declare, I'm looking for a real adventurer who can face frightening foes and twisting, turning, bumpy boat rides through the skyway. Are you the chap for the job? I'd offer good gold for your trouble. My friend and confidant, Huck Sawyer, ran into a tough crowd one afternoon. He was delivering some food to, uh, helpless orphans and was ambushed by the Black Storm Bison. Ask Huck, he'll tell you more. Oh, my poor friend Huck Sawyer. He'll tell you the whole story. Go speak with him. My old pal Mark Clemens ain't lying. A band of thieves. The Black Storm Bison ambushed me. They stole all the food and my delivery boat. How will I get the food to the poor little orphans now? I recognize that voice actor. He's from Wizard 101. Get my boat back from the Blackstone Bison. Them hungry orphans are counting on you. on the wiki here for uh, for the quests. The wiki is a little unreliable in terms of um, connection. It's not always um, It's pretty slow.
Greetings, stranger. You're a man of the skyways, I see. If you have a fast ship, I have a job needs doing. What have we got? Deliver this parcel to Mr. Evans over at Junction down in Arroyo Grande. He'll pay you a good price. He's eager to get this. Hmm. You made that delivery to Mr. Evans in Junction yet? He's waiting for that parcel. Step right up, step right up. For a limited time, we are accepting acts for the exciting, daring, and thrilling Buffalo Bills Wild Frontier Show. Oh, you think I'm a circus act? Who wouldn't want to be part of such a magical theatrical experience? You don't know what you're missing, kid. If you're not interested, could I hire you to go pick up a few new acts? I can't come back empty-handed, kid. Sure. Did you change your mind about helping Buffalo Bill's Wild Frontier show? I didn't think so. Get out of here and find some new acts. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. You're that pirate everybody's talking about, ain't you? Word is you're looking for Captain Blood's treasure. Dumb, I say. Huh? Captain Blood? No point finding his gold, it's cursed. Besides, he weren't that rich anyway. You want gold? You need to find Burley's gold. Burly Jack Washburn was a legend back during the war between the flocks. His gang here regular stole a whole shipment of Union gold. The war between the flocks. Burley hid the gold somewhere in Cool Ranch. An old timer in Junction, Jessup, knows where. Get him to tell you, I'll cut you in for half. Dale? Maybe. 5,000 gold, that's pretty good. Well, pretty good for a quest reward. You not in a hurry to get rich? Burley's gold is out there, just a waiting for us. You go talk to Jessup in Junction, he'll tell you where it is. People should be after my gold at this point, look at 5,000, that's all Burley's gold is. Well, gameplay, gameplay is different than narrative. I'm just going to look up these quests on the wiki real quick. Eh, the loading is taking a while, so I'm just going to head down here. Are you a pirate? I need your help. I've booked passage on a ship out of Cooper's Roost, and we... Uh, uh, 
I, I need to get there in a hurry. Hmm? My charter captain's waiting at the Silver Spur Saloon in Cooper's Roost. I have to get this cargo there before he sails. I'll pay you well for your troubles. Ooh. <laughs> he just disintegrated. Clucky Johnston's looking for new axe. Well, sign me up. I've practiced my fire eating and sword swallowing. Boy, howdy, I'm excited. <laughs> Oh my god, Isla de los Muertos. <laughs> Augustus McCrane, how many times am I gonna have to act? Oh, it's you again. I see your taste in clothes has not improved. What? Well, he must be like really old. He thinks I'm a bird. Gus thinks we should ship the cattle? Funny how he invariably finds the quickest path away from hard work. He's in the saloon? I'm unsurprised. <laughs> well, since your boat will be so much better, you hardly need my help, do you? Go subdue the buffalo and put them in that fancy ship of yours. You'll get paid upon delivery in Cooper's Roost. Good luck to you. Thanks. <laughs> my oh my, <laughs> these buffaloon chaps are flying off the shelf lately. I've got orders to fill and nothing to fill them with. What a predicament I'm in. As I'm busy selling the supplies to the townsfolk, what do you say to going out and robbing some buffaloon of their hides? Hmm. Easy enough. The customers are on the way, so you better get going. Oh, I don't need a bunch of angry customers hanging around my store. I'll head to Junction. That's a big ship. Ah, oh, my package from Tumbleweed. Excellent. Your payment, Captain. Zachary Evans is the name. I am a scholar by vocation, an historian, and enthusiast of that greatest of Malabonian inventions, the railroad. Hmm. I've come all the way out to this forsaken place to learn why the people of Cool Ranch, after so avidly embracing railroads, would abandon them. Look at this bridge. Amazing, isn't it? But the trains run no more. The crash of the locomotive Zephyr scared everyone away. 
Can't imagine why. There are still pieces of that legendary locomotive scattered all over the canyon floor. I'll pay you well to collect some bits of history for me. <laughs> Maybe. Have you managed to gather those fragments of the Zephyr? I'll pay you well for them. Yes, up. Burley Washburn? Sure, I knew him back in the day. Looking for his gold, are you? Well, good luck. You'll never find it. No, sirree. The whole story's a myth, don't you see? There weren't no gold. Burley just stole a cargo of ammunition from those Unionists. I'm here to tell you. Well, ammunition is worth more than gold in some scenarios, you know. If Burley really did bury a treasure, don't you think somebody'd have found it by now? Nope. Burley's long gone, dead and buried. The last word on Burley's so-called treasure, if there ever was one, is on his gravestone for all to see. Yeah, this this world is way less annoying with that with the stagecoach. I thought Gus and Old Woodrow was slated to deliver these buffalo. No matter, just thankful they got here. Welcome. Captain Reynolds. You've brought me Dr. Tam, and just in time. And who are you? A pirate? I've been called many things, pirate among them, but I reckon myself an honest free trader. Well, a free trader anyway. Mm-hmm. Good to meet you, Captain. My name's Reynolds. I like your style. Thanks for lending aid to my doctor friend here. Welcome. Here's the grave. There's an inscription. Chariots of gold and grace do bear him to his rest. Argent laurels laid upon his broad but fallen chest. <laughs> Grandful foes have stopped his heart and ended his great ride. Eager to find his treasure, but eternally denied. So there's no gold after all? No, it's a trick, you see? Look at the first letters of the verses. C A <laughs> B E. Burley's gold hid in a cave. Well, that's nice and specific. Oh, which cave?
guess I'll go to the uh, Isle of the Dead. Fly this ship. I do not want to be a part of this wild frontier show. Why don't you go over to the Bison Village? They seem the type that would want to perform. <laughs> uh, I got treasure cards. That's funny. chest back here. Yes. Whisper Moon. He was the guy that gave out that quest where you had to fight 20, 24 ships. Buffalo Bill's Wild Frontier Show. I know this show. I can juggle big tomahawks. My tribe will be proud if I join the show. I feel like his voice was different. Just don't cut yourself juggling the tomahawks. Now back to Tumbleweed. <laughs> yeah, look at this insanely steep ramp. That's just ridiculous. I'm happy to have these two. They'll make a perfect addition to Buffalo Bill's Wild Frontier Show. Head on out and see the show. You'll love it. <laughs> As for you, I don't think show business is your game. Stick to being a pirate, kid. It's what you do best. Agreed. A cave? That's all you got? I could have guessed that much, but presuming you're right, which cave could it be? Burley's gang camped in three caves around here at one time or another. Uh, Crystal Cave in the Royal Grandy, uh, the McGee Mine, and Echo Cave. Hmm. Go check them three caves and you'll earn your share of the loot. Provided, of course, uh, that there is some loot. <laughs> Okay. Now I'll look up these quests. 
Hold on. See if any other quests have you, um... Fighting these same enemies. Looks like... Hold on. Looks like no. I guess I can <coughs> go take care of these. Do, 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 do. Now, the Waco kid, he actually dropped some good gear for Musketeer. Um, apparently. He drops the ring that gives Valor's armor, the t I think the totem, and the, uh, hold on, can look at Old his- Old man Bronco's got a message for you, Weasel. You dirt farmers better learn your place and do as you're told, or else. Listen, I was just leaving. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. Awesome. Super hit. Get him. Oh, my God. 
Okay, I think he does have four range. Or maybe. I don't know. I think what I'll do is just start a stream. Um... Side quest. Or no. I'll just call it Musketeer Farming. <laughs> and... Um... Farm this guy for a little bit, and I'll also defeat these enemies on stream. Or most likely. I don't know if I'll take care of the ships right away. I feel like it's just kind of annoying to do ships, honestly. Most of the time. Well, it's annoying to do those big ones where they have you to get six. I don't know why they always give they always do six, but I'll talk to Timmy and stuff later. I'll start the stream. Hello. Let's see. And I'll just pause the recording here, and I'll come back later. Later. <laughs> All right, gonna fight some buffaloon. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. Collect some hides. Which I mean, if you're fighting the buffaloon and collecting their hides, they're definitely dead. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you definitely kill people. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. Let's see. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness, Ratbeard. <clears throat> Milo's so cute. Oh. <laughs> he just blocked it with, with his air. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, Ratbeard, I love him. Oh, dude, look at freaking Louie's belly. He's, 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 he's a thick boy. Oh, do these have vengeance too? Dang. I, um, I fought Waco Kid maybe ten or so times, and I didn't really get anything. Because, you know, it's Pirate 101. I might as well do the second battle on, on camera. When I say on camera, I don't literally mean on camera. But, yeah. After I fight these, I'll... I'll fight some of the Black Storm Raiders. I don't know if I'll literally fight all of them, but... I'm on randomized units as well, which is fun. Let's see... Best option is probably just to... Well, I guess I could snipe, but might as well agility buff. Have everybody hit him. <clears throat> so yeah, I like Rooster Cogburn. He's handy, because I think he's the only companion that can even get True Grit, as far as I know, that, that I have so far. He's not the best chainer, but I feel like he does hit his burst fire quite often. Duh. Oof. That's something I'm not very good at, is like checking my enemies' epics and making sure... Because like with those marines, I get screwed by their hold the line. Okay... Bomb... I'm like in Overwatch 3. I'll be excited to uh, hit level 40. So I can train it. I don't know if I necessarily need all the Valor's armor. Because you can have it, I think, in four different slots. Wait, hold on. No. You can have it in all three of your trinket slots, and, and your hat, and your robe as a musketeer. I don't think I'll need all of them. It would be nice to have two, though. Because I think they can also stack if you if you use multiple of them. Excellent. Get him.
Sache. Dip, dip, dip. Bunny Ann is looking fresh, and she's still just as good. Nice. Now I'll fight a couple of the. Uh... I think that the ga I think the galleons are slower to accelerate. I actually have no idea like what the real difference is between the uh, the different sizes of ships is. All right, old scratch is done. Cool. Now, yeah, he's fully promoted, so he has this really, really broken ability called Flow Mojo Flow. Doubles your spell power. Which is just insane. Yeah, there's this thing over here. Fortress. Fort Roscoe. Did I miss? This is mainly, uh... This is mainly for, um... Multiplayer, yeah. Better not mess with that. So yeah, I'm looking at the wiki page for Ranchero's Finery, which is the robe that gives Valor's armor at level 30 for Musketeer. And uh, a boss that's coming up really soon drops it, so I'll probably farm him too. Angry Bull. I'll fight and board one of the ships, and then I think I'll just pause the recording and fight them. On the on the stream. I'm gonna get you. I think I think you might be able to tell that I kind of feel better. You know, because I'm already, uh, let's see, I'll put this here, move up, um, so I feel like when I was last recording I wasn't, uh, well, I mean, I was feeling okay, but you could tell I was, like, tired or something, um, or just not feeling it. No, I think I am more so. At least more so than I was before. You're still standing right next to the barrels. Man, you see how, he, how much he boosts that? That's just insane. But it does only last um, a couple rounds. Five hundred and forty nine. Jeez.
Holy crap, I'm looking at Wing Chun's second promotion and it's friggin' long. Although, I guess it's inflated by a few objectives that are at the same area. <laughs> Alright, I'll pause and come back. Actually, forgot. I'll go back to this. Back to this dungeon. And back to the life fountain and turn in this quest for the... Buffaloon Boy. Spiffy chaps. Uh-oh. Bag gum! Put on the dialogue. Ooh, these'll make mighty fine buffaloon chaps. If you'll excuse me, I need to prepare these for the customers. Good. On my last cargo run, I bumped into several drifting shipwrecks. I thought twice about it, but decided to rescue some of that lost cargo to sell in my shop. I found sarsaparilla sent all the way from Marleybone. The locals love it, so I must find more. <laughs> Say, could I hire you to search some shipwrecks and rustle up a few more barrels? Sure. I wonder what happened to those ships. Must just be they were assaulted by the Wild Bunch. And, uh, bison. Alright. Back to ships. Okay. Wreckage. There's some more. Whee! There we go. Stay away from this fort. No idea what that's for. You, there might be a quest where you fight it, but I don't remember. It's really strong. You're only really supposed to take it on probably higher level with multiple players. There are hornets around. They might just be for... Uh, Decoration or filler, I don't know, because I don't remember any quests where you have to fight hornets. Probably a class quest or a promotion thing. Yoink. Yoink. He's the pizza. Oh shit. Um. Yeah. I, uh, that's okay. I mean, it's, yeah, I, when I exited, I got, I went out of the dungeon, but that, yeah, it's literally like five feet away. Might as well just head back to the life fountain now. <laughs> Turn in the quest. Got the sarsaparilla. I'll get some orders in this shop now that I've got some sarsaparilla. The townsfolk are chomping at the bit for more. You're welcome. Alright, I guess I'll, um... Pause, come back, probably farm the Waco kid a little bit, a little bit more. And fight the Blackstorm Raiders in the meantime. Alright. Got, uh, my friend Devin to help me with, uh, the ships. So that's good. 
Is that a, is that a real parry? Hold on. Ah, just a seven day. The permanent versions are rare because that's from the that's from the Butchbeard bundle. I do declare, you saved my friend Huck from pain and heartbreak. Now the starving orphans will get their food. Great. Woohoo! 39. A big bad fan vetoed, knocked on Huck's door one afternoon, and offered him a warm basket of cornbread. Okay. Huck, being as simple-minded as he is, accepted the snack. He fell into a deep sleep, and when he awoke, he was right in this here saloon. Hmm. Poisoned, I tell you. He was poisoned, and that tricky bandito took the deed to his house. Huck knows more about the thief. Took the deed to his house. Dang. Huck Sawyer uh, can tell you more about the sneaky, slimy bandito that uh, took possession of his house. Mm hmm. That cheating, sniveling, yellow belly bandito tricked me. That's the last time I'll eat cornbread from a stranger. Well, his name's Frito Bandito. And you can find him in Upper Arroyo Grande. Hmm. That's interesting. So it actually is referred to Upper and Lower, just not on the map or uh, in the game. They should have done that, though, to avoid confusion, you know. Arroyo Grande. I'll head there later, I think. Yeah. I guess I, I think I'll just continue the story. Uh. Oh. I'm just going to take care of some things, just on the recording. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to continue the story before I head into uh, Arroyo Grande. And now I'm going to um, sell some stuff. Also, the time... It's about time that I'll... Uh, I'll play some... Whatchamacallit? Um, God, what's it called? Rat attack? So I'll do that on the stream. Not on the recording. Maybe I'll play one game on recording, but... 
Yeah, and, and continue the story in the next installment. Just to keep them short. Do, do. Let's see. I didn't really get anything good from Waco Kid. Drumhead wheel. Hey, that's not bad. Wait. Wait, why wasn't I using that? If that was... Yeah, I guess I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I'll use this. Alright, I'll just sell some stuff real quick. Alright, now I'll do a game of rat attack.
Hmm. Well, I guess I was wrong. Yeah, I guess I did kind of do those later. Oh, never mind. <sighs> Let's see. Go back to the Desert Rose. Probably be winding down soon anyways. I think I'll still kill... I think I'll still keep the... Uh, stream on, because probably want to keep farming this guy. See if I can get at least something. Kind of want the ring that gives uh, Valor's armor. Well, it would be nice if he dropped the totem. No. Oof. Anyway. I'll see you in the next installment.